In this section, we're going to be looking at factoring polynomials that are kind of in a quadratic form. Now, there is something called U substitution that can assist you with this if you need help. Um, and I'll show that to you while we're doing some examples, because some of you may not need to use that technique. So let's look at number one. We're factoring each of these. If I had x to the fourth plus 5x squared minus 36. Well, it's a trinomial, very similar to some quadratics we've dealt with. Actually, a very similar quadratic would be something like this. u squared plus 5 times u minus 36. So u substitution means we rewrite it with u's instead of with the other stuff and see if we can factor it just like this. If I factored it like this, I know I'd have u times u gives me u squared. The other two multiply to be negative 36 but add to be 5. So that's got to give me a positive 9 and a negative 4. This can assist me in factoring over here. Now, like I said, not every one of you is going to need to use the u substitution. Some of you may be able to recognize that a, x squared times x squared would give me x to the fourth, and then be able to factor it just like we did here. 1 times itself gives you negative 36, but adds to be 5. That would be 9 and negative 4. Now, x squared plus 9 doesn't factor anymore, so it just comes down. But x squared minus 4 does. That factors into x plus 2 times x minus 2. It's that difference of 2 squared. And speaking of difference of 2 squares, we can also have as higher polynomials that act like the difference of 2 squares. So let's look at one of those. Nine x to the fourth minus twenty five. Now we, we could rewrite this one as nine x squared minus twenty nine u squared minus twenty five and then go from there. But I think if it's a difference of squares, it's just as easy to really think about it logically. What times itself gives me nine x to the fourth? Well, that's going to be 3x squared and 3x squared. What's going to multiply together to give me a negative 25, but add to be 0 since we have no middle term? Well, that's a 5 and a negative 5. Now we look to see if we can factor again. Since there's two terms, the only thing that would factor is a difference of two squares. We don't have it. We're done. Let's try another one. This one only has two terms, so I would look for difference of squares or difference of cubes. Sorry, my phone is ringing, and I will have to answer that another time. Um, neither one of these are squares or cubes, so I would look for a greatest common factor. Both of these are divisible by 2, so I'm going to factor out a 2 from each term and get 16x to the fourth minus 1. Now I have the difference of squares. The 2 still remains on the outside. To get to 16x to the fourth, I'm going to have 4x squared and 4x squared. This is going to have to be 1 and negative 1. Now let's see if we can go any more. This is not the difference of two squares. We got the plus there. So this comes down. This one is. Factors again. 2x and 2x plus 1 and minus 1. Now let's try one really out there. 
we are going to put x to the 6th minus x cubed minus 56. Now, I could go off to the side and use that u substitution to help me here. That's some, ha like having something squared minus itself minus 56. I know that's going to factor somehow into u times u. To get to 56, that means this is going to be a negative 8 and a plus 7. Well, that's exactly how this is going to factor, but instead of u, it's going to be that x cubed. x cubed times x cubed gives me x to the 6. This is going to have to be a negative 8 and a positive 7. Now, I have the difference of cubes. Difference of cubes, difference of cubes factors specially. It's going to be a minus b. In the other parentheses, it's going to be a squared plus ab plus b squared. So, following that pattern, what cubed gives me the first one? Well, that's x, so that's going to go every time I see an a. And 8 is really 2 cubed. So it's going to factor into x minus 2. The next parentheses are going to be x squared plus a times b, so that's going to be 2x, plus b squared, which is going to be 4. Now, x cubed plus 7 is not the sum of cubes because 7 is not a cube. So I will just copy down x cubed plus 7, and we would be done.